What is going on guys and welcome back to your Vancouver Canucks B A G M mode. So in the last episode we had a ridiculous draft. We ended up winning the draft lottery after I think we were 26th in the NHL. We won the lottery, pulled an Edmonton Oilers, we won the lottery and obviously we picked Austin Matthews with our first overall selection. Welcome to Vancouver Austin. What a career this guy is going to have. He's already an NHLer. Like, honestly, I'm so excited for him to play. I'm going to play him this year simply because he is 80 overall. I'm going to get your guys' opinion on, on that, but that's kind of where I'm at. I really want to play Austin Matthews this year. We also got Ivan Provorov from Philadelphia in exchange for Redeem Verbata. Uh, who else do we have here in the prospects pool? We got Jay Money, Josh Morrissey, baby, uh, and Nikolai Eller. So now, actually, we have Jay Money and we have Joe Money. We have Josh Morrissey and in the rookie goaltenders, we have Joe Money, Joe Fleshler. I did not edit this guy's potential at all. Um, he's 63 overall. I did not edit it at all. All of you... People were telling me, oh, in my GM mode, he was only two red stars. That's because all the GMs are different. They're not the exact same. But that was just pure luck. I I, uh, I was blown away that that even happened. And we got Bobby Dugan. Bobby Dugan. What a guy. Uh, but anyways, we'll go back to our rookie skaters. I guess we can go check out all of our draft picks. Uh, we got Josh Morrissey. We have Nikolai Ellers. We got them from Winnipeg in the in the uh, Henrik trade. Gautier as well. Sean Day was a second round pick. Jake Bean who is going to be really, really good for us. Four green stars. Jared McCann, Sam Steele, Jake Vertanen, all of these. Look, look at all these four-star players we have. It's absolutely ridiculous. We have prospects. We are ready to go. Our team is looking less than stellar. Obviously, our defense is our high point right now with Hampus Lindholm and Alexander Edler. So, I mean, we, we're going into next year as of right now with the team like this. Hanson, Sutter, and Fontaine. That's pretty much our first line. Our second line Line will be Horvat Matthews and this guy who you guys were telling me how to pronounce his name I don't I had no idea who he was apparently some pretty decent prospect or something uh, but he, his name is pronounced Seacash so we're gonna go with uh, Yuri Seacash here and we picked him up off waivers I believe from Montreal that was not a bad waiver pickup at all but we have a bunch of 80 overall so pretty much we have three players that are legit NHLers okay I, I you know what I guess four with Austin Matthews. Four legit NHL forwards. That's it. That's all we have. Four. Four NHL forwards. That's ridiculous. Our defense isn't that bad. Obviously, obviously we got the 287 Swedes, Alexander Edler and Hampus Lindholm, our captain Alexander Edler, who actually led the team in goals last year. 20 goals, 44 points. Obviously a career year, but he had no one else to play with, so he was doing it all himself. Made him the captain. We drafted him, so he might be a lifer here in Vancouver. Hampus Lindholm, the young 22-year-old Swede. They were got him in the Anaheim trade for Daniel, those guys are our top two, and you got Tanev and Weber, and then Hutton and Barkowski. So we're definitely going to be players in the free agency pool here. I'm going to get the resign stage completed. I don't think it'll be too crazy, uh, but we're definitely going to have a lot of money going towards uh, going towards the free agency period here. So uh, you have a couple comments to go over here. First one's going to come from Brandon. He says the next step is to get a legitimate starting goaltender, and I agree with that because our goalies right now they're not good. We have Tokarski and we have uh, Tokarski and Jakob Markstrom. So, pretty much he says, since you have so many prospects, trade some of your middle grade prospects if you don't think they'll have a spot on the team and trade them for a legit starting goaltender. Also, two players you should be paying attention to this offseason are Anze Kopitar and Steven Stamkos. Both are unrestricted free agents this year and at least one of them could go to the open market. Stamkos, in particular, would be a perfect fit for your team if they both hit the open market and Make Stamkos your priority since you won't be able to sign both of them. And I agree with you. So, first things first, we're going to give some players some contracts. I don't want to overpay for anyone. We'll give Prust a contract. He's a good fourth-line guy. Cracknell, we don't we don't really need you at all. Jones, we don't need you. Fontaine, we got on waivers. Not a bad player. We can definitely give him a contract. We're going to have so much money come free agency time. It's going to be just fantastic. Yannick Weber... We're, Yannick Weber, we will give a contract to, but not for $2.4 million for an 81. I'll give you a 1.9. 1.9 million seems 
Seems average. Seems average. I mean, he's not that great. Asking 2.4 is ridiculous. Fadoon, we're not going to take. Uh, Bartkowski, we're going to say goodbye to. All these guys I'm going to tender qualify. All these mid-grade players. Alex Friesen, they're all 25-ish. Lyndon Vey will give a contract to. If he wants more than two, I'm not doing that. Okay, that's perfect, actually. I will take that. What else we got? Seacash will definitely give you a contract. Uh, yep, two-way deal. I'll take that. We're going to have so much cap, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, Camarosa. Actually, I know what? I'm not going to give these guys a contract because they're just going to take up a roster spot that I could use to go for a free agency player. So, Seacash then. Sven Berchi will give a contract too. There you go. Barchisi. Uh, Nicholas Jensen could be something. 76 overall. Only got the two and a half star though. He has a, been a big bust for the for the Canucks. Uh, 23 years old. Yeah, two and a half star. Not really worth it. All these guys aren't really worth it. The defensive Datsuk. Andre Padan. Definitely going to give him a contract. Uh, Dane Fox. Probably not. Tampus Lindholm. Absolutely. Let's try to lock this guy out for really long term. See, he's going to want 5.7 for eight years. I would be okay with paying him that. Absolutely. He is going to be a, a stud. An absolute stud. So we'll give him 5.2 for eight years. I think he'll, he'll come for that. 5.2 for eight years. Welcome to Vancouver. Hopefully for eight more years. Uh, Lucas Lasik, 18 years old. Sure. Uh, no... Austin Matthews, absolutely, definitely, 100% going to go. Oh, I already did. I already gave him a contract. Whoops. My bad. My bad, Austin. Uh, all these guys that we drafted will definitely give a contract to. So let me get this done really quickly. And then I will see you in a second once everyone has signed. Okay, everyone is now signed. That took a while. We had prospects on prospects on prospects. Actually, I gotta get the goalies done. Joe Money, and we'll give Bobby Dugan, good old American boy, Bobby Dugan. I think he's American. I, I mean, I hope he's American. Bobby Dugan, what a name. He is he is American, absolutely. Bobby Dugan. Uh, we got uh, Alex Dubow. We'll give you a contract. Three and a half stars. There we go. That should be everyone. Now we'll get into the free agency period. Hopefully, uh, we can and get everyone signed. We have 20 players under contract already. We might be at like 40 something players, but that's totally fine. We could uh, we could definitely cut some players come the uh, come the free agency period here. But the only thing I'm questioning about is Hampus Lindholm. Hopefully he signs. Oh, there he is, Hampus Lindholm. Welcome to Vancouver for the next eight years. Absolutely, Hampus Lindholm. He's going to be 30 when his contract's up. It's a great great contract. Uh, Yuri Seacash, welcome back. I signed 30 players. Oh my god. Okay, so Yannick Weber said no. We'll have to revisit that. Sven Berchi, Lyndon Vey, I think everyone should say, okay, our roster's full. Uh, that's totally fine. There's only a couple players. Yeah, it's fine. Only thing I care about is Austin Matthews, wherever he is. We might have already passed him. Oh, there he is. Austin Matthews is ready to come to Vancouver. And he is... Ooh, Patrick Weirkosh is available in free agency. I can see that. They're 85 overall. Um, we can definitely go ahead and re-sign the players that... Uh, do we really want to give... Yannick Weber, that much cash. That's a lot of money. Um, all these guys, like all the 23-year-olds, like two-star guys, we're going to release you to free agency. We're going to say no. Okay, we're heading into free agency here. I ended up giving Yannick Weber, uh, I think it was $2.1 million. So it's not a terrible contract. He's going to be a depth guy for us. Uh, we could definitely uh, use Yannick Weber. He's not ideal, but we could definitely use him. Frederick Anderson looks like he's a free agent. That could be the goalie that Brandon's talking about. About. Okay, okay, so let's see who is available. I don't think Stamkos or Kopitar is going to be here. Yeah, ooh, it's a weak free agency, guys. It is weak, it is weak, it is weak. I thought that, where is the Stam? Maybe Stamkos and Kopitar, they re-signed. We could get Frederick Anderson, though. He wants a six-year deal at $7 million. That's a lot of money. He's 26. Is getting a legit goalie really what we need right now? Oh, man. Like, you look at our team. Okay, so let's get what we need done right now. We could give, like, Alexander Semin, Patrick Weirkosh, Darren Helm, Trevor Lewis, a couple of those, like, you know, mid-grade players. We could definitely give those guys contracts. Luke, Sh Luke Shen we can give a contract to. Like, there's players that we could give some contracts to. And Colton Tubert, Luke Shen. I think I'm going to go after Luke Shen for sure. Um, but there's a few players we can definitely go after here in the free agency pool. Um, but the big question is a 
goalie. I think he's an RFA as well. Is he a UFA or is he an RFA? Okay, so he is a UFA. I might just go for Frederick Anderson here. He's available. He's the best player available. We don't have a goalie right now. 7.5 for 6. He gets a lot of money though. You know what? Since we didn't get Stamkos and we did not get uh, Anze Kopitar, we are going to go after Frederick Anderson. $7.8 million for 6 years. Welcome to Vancouver, hopefully. There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. So we got that done. We got the goaltender done. I can only hope he comes to our team now. So now we got to look at what other players are available. Alexander Semin could be a first line player for us. So I'm going to go ahead and give Alexander Semin a contract. We're going to give him three years at $3 million a piece. He's still a... Pr in this game, I've seen him score 25 goals. I've seen him score 30 goals. We had him in the Montreal GM. He can definitely do it. Three years at $3 million. We're going to need a player like this to score some goals right now because we have players like Yannick Hansen and Bo Horvat who aren't going to put up 20 goals this year, but a player like Alexander Semin definitely could. So Darren Helm as well will probably give a contract to. We'll give you, give you $3.5 million for the next two years. He's a good player to have. Definitely be a good second or third liner for us. Uh, I mean, our defense is pretty good. We could go after a player like uh, Chris Russell, or we go back and get Dan Ham. He said I had an 86. But I feel like I feel like since we traded Hammer, we're not going to go and get Hammer back. We're still in a rebuild stage. We're definitely in a rebuild stage, absolutely. So we got to kind of look at our team and think where are you know what players do we have room for? But Luke Shen is a player I can definitely give a give a contract to. We we'll give you 3.5 for two years to come play in Vancouver. He'll be a uh, top four d defenseman for. For us so we have to I have to look at our pro I have to look at our actual like lineup here before I go and give anyone a legit contract so we gave Alexander Semin a contract I know that uh, so let's have a look at our forwards here so I'm gonna map it out for you guys here so it's gonna be Hanson uh, Brandon Sutter and I guess oh god that's so weak that's that's why it's kind of why I didn't want to give Frederick Anderson a contract because we're not gonna be a good team for the next two or three years um yeah you know Know what it's fine it's fine where we are let's give some players some contracts we got Darren Helm hopefully I'm gonna go ahead and get Alexander Killorn as well uh, he'll look he can be a good second or even a third liner for us so 2.7 for three years there you go hopefully they all take our contract Steve Downey absolutely not Merrick said Licky for four million dollars a lot of money Patrick Weirkos is a player who I could definitely grab I think he's an I think he's an RFA though yeah he is he is a restricted free agent I kind of don't want to give up anything else for that um I don't think we need another Chris Russell or a Jason Demir simply because we have the two Swedes, we have Tanev, and hopefully we get Luke Shen. So those are those are the top four. Now we kind of need some bottom defensemen, some bottom feeders like uh, like uh, not Luke Shen. He's gonna play top four minutes. Uh, not Tom Gilbert. He's a bit old. Carl Gunnarsson. We give a contract to two point six mil. Uh, Chris Neal, oh man, there's so many players. Riley Nash, uh, Mike Santarelli, you could bring him back to Vancouver. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give a contract to, let's go Carl Gunnarsson. I think Carl Gunnarsson could be a good fit. 29 years old, got really good discipline at 90. I like I like him a lot. He's going to play with Yannick Weber. $2.7 million for three years. There you go. Now hopefully all these players come to Vancouver. Let's see. I don't want to go crazy with the free agents quite yet because we're not going to be a good team. We're not going to be a team that's going to challenge for a playoff spot next year. So if Frederick Anderson doesn't come, that's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Darren Helm, welcome to Vancouver. Luke Shen, welcome to Vancouver. Carl Gunnarsson, and welcome to Vancouver and Alexander Killorn welcome to Vancouver so we're waiting on Freddie Anderson here we're waiting on Frederick no he doesn't want to come to our team Alexander Semin is uh, Alexander Semin is available which is nice but we do not get Frederick Anderson which is kind of a letdown all right, so we didn't get Frederick Anderson. That sucks. He clearly wanted to go to a winning team, so that's totally fine. Here is our team going into next year, as of right now. Helm, Semin, Hansen. Okay, then you got... Okay, so our first line going into next year is probably going to be Alexander Semin, uh, Bo Horvat, and Yannick Hansen. Our second line will be Darren Helm, uh, Killorn, and maybe Austin Matthews. Our third line will be... Oh, God, it's really not going to be pretty at all. 
all. It's really just not going to be pretty whatsoever. We need some more. We need some more players just to fill out our our roster here. Like Matt Martin's a good guy who can play on the fourth line. He's got ridiculous in checking. 1.8 for three years. That's fine. We'll get a we'll get another grinder. He's got like 93. Look at his physical category. We're going to need someone to protect Austin Matthews. So there you go, Matt Martin. There's really not a whole lot out there. We're going to kind of go with what we have. Uh, Chris Neal, another one of those guys we don't really need. Goaltender-wise, uh, yeah, there's really not a whole lot. We got Tukarski. We have, I mean, I'd rather have Tukarski than Jonas Enroth. There's no reason for us to go out and get Jonas Enroth. So it looks like the Predators actually signed Frederick Anderson, which is really, really weird. Why would they sign Frederick Anderson? That's just absolutely strange because they have Pekka Rene. But you know what? Regardless, that's where we are. Oh, Matt Martin didn't even want to come to our team. No one wants to come to a losing team right now. No one. No one wants to do it, and I completely understand. So I'm not that worried. But this guy, he says, you need to find some depth players now. You have the prospect. You need role players. That's why I went out and I got Darren Helm. That's why I went out and got Alexander Semin. Alexander Semin's going to score some goals. And pretty much he says that they need to fill your roster while your prospects develop. Uh, pretty much exactly saying, get the Alexander Killorns. Get the Darren Helms. And I did that. So thank you for the comments. He says, uh, you really don't need another three to five first rounders and elite prospects. You'll end up trading away in the future. I used to also get a better goalie. There's, I don't really see us in the need for a better goalie right now. Um, maybe at the trade deadline, we could make a big move for a goaltender, but he says that was a great draft. Uh, in two or three years, this team can be looking scary. I agree with that. Thank you for all of the comments. We're going to see what our team looks like here going into year number two. I just want to welcome you back for another year at the helm of the Vancouver Canucks. I was surprised by some of your actions or lack thereof. Come on, buddy. I didn't have a whole lot to work with in the offseason. I hope you knew. I hope you know what you're doing. I'm expecting 37 wins out of you this year. Okay, all right. So now we can get down to business. We can get down to business right now. Let's just start with the forwards in the uh, United States. So quickly, a couple things I want to do before we actually look at the team and look at all that good stuff. I want to have a look at Connor McDavid and I want to have a look at Jack Eichel. So Jack Eichel's 86 overall now. He's definitely going to play in the NHL this year. He is a franchise guy and there he is. He actually played in the NHL last year, had 40, uh, 44 points it looks like in his rookie year. I think he scored 20 goals. So that's not bad for Jack Eichel. You can see he has one year played, 20 goals, 44 points, minus four, 48 penalty minutes. So now check out Connor McDavid, Connor McJesus. Connor McDavid is a 87 overall. So he's definitely progressing. Uh, he scored 69 points last year, 28 goals. He is going to be ridiculous for the Edmonton Oilers. Absolutely ridiculous. So here is how our team is looking. Oh my God, it's not looking good at all. It's really not looking good and I'm scared to look at it. Actually, one more thing I want to do is I want to see how much uh, Nashville actually paid uh, to get uh, Pekka I want to see how much Nashville actually paid to get Frederick Anderson, which was so so strange. Uh, Frederick Anderson, they paid him seven. They paid him four hundred. They paid him forty grand more, and he came to the Nashville Predators, where he's not going to get starting time. That was dumb. Why did he do that? I should just trade for him right now. Why would they ever do that? They want to get rid of him. I mean, we could trade like Bobby Dugan. Could trade Bobby Dugan. Oh god, our team is just terrible. Um, we could trade Bobby Dugan and like a bunch of randoms. But I don't really have the trading assets right now, so I'm not gonna do that. I think that I'm happy with. I'm not happy, but I'm content. All right, so here comes the moment of truth. Checking out our lineup. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Alexander Killorn, Darren Helm, Alexander Semin. Okay, Fontaine, Matthews, Hansen, Seacash, Brandon Sutter, Sven Berchi, Dorset, Horvat, Linden, Vey. Okay, so okay, so the problem is we have too many centermen right now. Helm has really good draws. He got 85 faceoffs, so he's got to play in the middle. Austin Matthews could potentially play the wing. Hold on here, we could do something along the lines of like this maybe, and then go Linden, Vey. Probably right there, Horvat, Matthews, Hansen. 
That couldn't be that's not that bad. Then we have Seacash, uh, Brandon Sutter, and Sven Berchi, Dorset, Vey, and Fontaine. That's not terrible. I mean, it's not great. But uh, or we could even do something like this. You know, that could be something we could do. I really need your guys' help on the lines here. I have no clue what to do. Um, Austin Matthews could probably play the wing while Horvat goes in the middle. I like that because I do want to play Austin Austin Matthews. I want to play him in his correct position. The thing is, he's a centerman, which kind of sucks for right now. He's got the puck skills. His defense needs work. He's ready to score 20, 20 goals. Absolutely. He's ready to do it. Um, he's ready to be a legit NHLer. But where do we play him? That's the big question. We could play him right there. We could do kind of whatever. I want your guys' opinion, though. Alexander Semin, hopefully, is going to score the majority of the goals this year. Uh, the thing is, I like this line because Alexander Semin is defensively terrible, where where Darren Helm is, has really good defense defense, really good discipline, as well does Alexander Kaloran. So I like that a lot. I like having the two grindy two-way forwards to play with the sniper. I think that'll work out nicely, uh, but I definitely need your guys' help for the lines here. Oh my goodness. And the defense kind of worked out exactly as I wanted it. The two Swedes, Luke Shen, Tanev, Weber, and Carl Gunnarsson. So that's actually perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And then the goaltender is going to be Tokarski and Jakob Markstrom. So I definitely need your guys' help for this. Oh my god. Hutton, Vertanen, and Shinkarik. Those are your players. Vertanen is technically NHL ready. Technically. But it's going to be up to you guys if we play Jake Vertanen or not. Uh, I don't know about that. I really, really don't know. So let's see how that lineup's actually doing right now. Uh, Vertanen, McCann, Prust. I don't like that at all. Prust is going way down here. Uh, Prust, there you go. Uh, Habersnitch, you can come up there. Gaunt, Ellers. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Uh, defensively, Hutton, Mo Hutton, Morrissey, Padan, Stewart. There you go. The goaltender is going to be Richard Bachman. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scratch this guy, put Joe Money as the backup. There we go. So I need you guys' help on the lines. Oh my god, this is definitely not ideal, but it's where we're at right now. Again, we could go for a top five pick this year. Dra we could go for a top five pick this year, maybe draft a goalie. Maybe we could draft a like a top, top tier goaltender. Uh, we'll get the preseason done here. Not that it really matters. We'll get the preseason done and we'll get the first game of the regular season completed. But I definitely need you guys' help on what the hell we're going to do with the Lions. Like, what is the deal with that? Oh, oh man. It's not pretty. It's not. We're definitely in for a terrible year, but we're 3-0 right now. Alexander Semin just killing the game. Alexander Semin's got four goals in his first four games. That's exactly what we need from you. Uh, five goals there you go Alexander Semin just killing it and we are five and one five and one there you go five and one Alexander Semin with six goals throughout his first six games there you go there you go on the route to the Stanley Cup now we're uh, definitely not gonna be anywhere close there but let's get the first game done of course it's against the Hawks why not that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of fun Chicago Blackhawks let's go first period two nothing Patty Kane and Billy Polka period number two four nothing Hosa and Anisimov all right, so preseason was clearly just a fluke. Come on, Alexander Salmon. Let's go. Let's go, Super Salmon. Let's go. 5 nothing, Patrick Kane. This is how the year is going to go for us. 27 shots could not beat Corey Crawford, and we get stomped on 5 to nothing by the Chicago Blackhawks. That's pretty much how this year is probably going to go. But I need you guys' help for the lineup, guys. Let me know, and until then, I will see you in the the next one this year is not going to be pretty.